Now it's time to assemble LS6. And LS6 is not a modified block, so we're going to work directly from the book. And um, if you remember from the bag sort, if you watch the bag sort, these pieces did not exactly match the book, but they did match up to each other. So this is the layout, and it's going to be, you know, I'm not going to worry about putting them on here because they're on fabric now. But um, this is going to be assembled in units. This is going to be a unit section. And then this is a section, this is a section, this is a section, and then this is the tip that gets the football applique on top of it. So for these, I'm going to assemble these in blocks and then add these on here to then add these to it. That way it, I can have some square corners to deal with on that. And then once I get this unit done, I can assemble this unit attach it to here and all that kind of stuff. So my pieces over here, um, my basting, I was just looking at my basting and we had this kind of a thing on the last block or two blocks ago, something like that. And I had issues with my tags because I always like to make my triangle tags go down. So this would be first and then these two. So these two would be down, but they were interfering with these. So I was trying to look at these. And if I do these, the sides first, and then the top and bottom, that tag will go this way, but I still don't know if it's going to interfere with this, but I'm probably going to try that out and see if it makes a difference. But, um, I'm going to do one triangle with tags. I'm going to, the tags are going to be an issue. So if I do all of them down, then they're going to clash here. So I would do these, because these two go together, I would do this first and then this, so my tags go away from this seam. Same thing here, this and then this, so my tags go away. So same thing here and here. These, I would do this first and then these, so they, the tags go down and out of play completely. And then this is going to be the same thing, but I got to worry about where this lies. So, yeah, but all right, I'm going to work on this bottom section first, and I'm going to baste and connect these squares together first. Okay, so I basted my two triangles, number 24 and number 23, and now I will connect them. Okay, so I've got these all stitched together, and my next ones are going to be 22 and 20, which is this one, and I will attach those, and then I'm also going to do 18 and 17 while I'm at it. Okay, I've got all three of these together, and on one of them I decided to switch up the basting, and I should have done all of these like this, so that one of them is one direction and one of them the other, so they nest better, because this is going to be conflicting when I go to put them on. But anyway, so now I'm going to attach these two together and then I can base this one to put on that row and I can do it like a little rose here. So let me sew these together and base this one. Okay, so these two squares are connected and this one is basted and I'm going to attach it here so that I can complete this section right there. So I made this into a row, and that's what we've got on the other side. And the next one is this, but before I attach it to there, I'm going to base this and attach it to here, and then I could put that whole thing onto that unit. So I basted and attached this triangle to the square, and now I am going to attach this to here, and making sure I use this, do this line consistently. So I basted this triangle and it made it obvious to me that I need to attach this here first and then attach it to that to make it a lot easier to, to get that done. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've attached this triangle to this other unit, so I've got a bigger triangle now. And I'm going to now attach this to that one. So I've attached all these together, and this is what I have here. 
So now the next step is to baste and attach these side pieces, making sure to line this up. There's a flat edge here that's going to line up with the bottom of all of the triangles on both sides. So you want to make sure that that, I'm going to do that first, and then I'm going to baste the rest of it. So I've got this basted, and then I went, uh, I did this first, and then I did these two sides, and then this last, so that my tags will be towards the center. And I don't know that I'm going to do the same thing over here, because of the, this tag will then interfere with this. I might do it up, I'm not sure, but that's been the complication. So I'm going to attach this and then look at the basting on this one. So I have attached this to the other triangles and I've basted this one the same way because then it will pop up in here and it should lay relatively flat at the end of the day. So I just went ahead and did that and I'll attach it to that section. I've got this other side attached and I had to force it into submission. So it's got a little bit of a wrinkle in the paper, but that's okay because that'll, that'll come out uh, when I get the papers out. So I'm going to set this aside, which is this whole bottom section, and the next section to assemble would be this section here. And like before, I'm going to start with this section that forms a square and then attach the other two triangles to that. And I'm going to baste them this time like I did the second time. Not this way, but this way. I'll do the white one that way, but I'll do this this way so that it can nest into each other like it did there. Okay, so I've got 11 and 12 sewn together, and I'm going to baste and attach 10 and 13. So I've basted both of these, and I've attached number 13, and I will now attach number 10 to complete this unit in the middle. So now I've got this center portion done and I'm going to baste and attach each of the side pieces now. Number nine is now attached to the rest of the pieces in the center of it. And now 14 is next. So 14 is attached, completing this second section. So this section will now get connected to this one and I want to make sure that this point and this point are touching like in the picture and then I can move on. So I've attached both sections together and this will chill out after I take the papers out. There's just a lot of thread in there. I wasn't able to get it exactly right. But the next section is going to be to assemble this pieces of six, seven, and eight and I will baste and sew those together next. So I got these basted and my tags are going in towards this point so I will get these attached to each other. Okay, so I've got this unit all connected and I'm going to put it on top of the rest of the assembly. So I've attached this unit to the rest of them. And this is what I've got so far. And now I'm going to go to this unit with these three pieces and baste and attach those to each other. So I basted these the same way I did the other ones and now I will stitch them together. So I've got this piece, this three, four, and five piece assembled and now it's to attach it to the top of that section. So I've attached my other section to the rest of it. And now I have the tip and my little applique football. So I'm going to baste this and I'm going to gathering stitch baste this and then applique it onto here. So I've got my tip basted and I've basted my little football for applique. And now I found the center. You can either make a pencil mark or a pin mark, but I found the center of this bottom section. And then I'm going to line it up with the tip. So I'm going to, before I attach my applique, I'm going to make a line from that to the, the point to the end as a needle. And then put my applique touching that point like in the picture here. And that way it's lined up in the center, on the center line. 
So, and then I'll staple it down and then applique it. So I've attached the football to the tip, and now I'm going to attach the tip to the top of the rest of the assembly here. So I've attached my tip and I've removed the basting from the gathering stitch, and now my LS6 triangle is complete.